Now over here, we have the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. In the 3.1, we have loaded A4 paper. And in 3.2, we have loaded A3 paper. So next, we will show you how to configure the trays from the front panel setting. Now that we have put the A4 paper into tray 1 and A3 paper into tray 2, let us configure the settings on the printer itself. From the front panel, scroll down and select Setup. Under Setup, scroll until you see Tray and Paper Management. Under Tray and Paper Management, scroll until you see Paper Settings. Now, Tray 1 is set as A4 and Tray 2 is set as Tabloid. We need to change that to A3. So let us tap on Tray 2. And the paper size, we will select it as A3. And the paper type, we will leave it as plain paper. So now tray 1 and tray 2 is set correctly. Next, let us set the default tray. The current default tray is tray 1. We will leave it as tray 1 because A4 paper size is what we commonly print to. Next, for the tray lock, we need to ensure that it is none because if it is selected as tray 1 or tray 2, then it will not automatically select the trays. So for tray lock, it is important that we leave it as none. Finally, for the tray management, we can set the default tray for copy, fax printing, and even photo. So with that, we are done setting up the trays for this printer. So once the trays are configured on the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740, let us try to print an A3 document to it. Go to your launch pad and select Pages. Just select a blank document. Just type in some text. Let us make the font bigger. And under the document, we'll select our printer to be the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. And this document size, we'll select it as A3. Once that is done, let us go to File and select Print. So you need to ensure that your printer is the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740 series and we will select the default settings. Once that is done, you can click on print. So indeed, it has selected tray 2, which has the A3 paper. So this is how you print using the automatic settings that has been set on your printer to print the A3 or A4 document.